Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. What's good? Yo, I just decided that I want to like do a reaction to the BB Can Big Brother Canada season 8 episode where um I guess it's season 8 episode 9 um which is where a whole the game resets. You know what I mean? So the game freaking resets. If you watch that show like you guys know what's good in terms of what shows to watch. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff that happened. And I just, I just want to talk about it. Like, what are you guys thinking? If you watch the show, what are you really thinking? Because, okay, I just want to say, okay, I'm going to start off with this. My favorite players in the game. Number one. Min Lee. I don't care what nobody says. Min Lee is the GOAT. Like, she's literally the GOAT. Um, she just knows the game so well. She just knows how to manipulate people, which is what the game's about. She knows exactly what to say. She's an extremely strong player. She, her, and you know what's crazy is that I thought that she was going to be the person that I didn't like the most because as soon as she walked in through that door, all she could look at was the alcohol. And I mean, yeah, I'd be her friend like on a personal, but in terms of this game, like, I don't know if she was just trying to play dumb or she was trying to like, show, like, just show people that they can take her seriously. Like, you know, oh, she looks like that drunk girl. She just came here for the free alcohol. She just came here to be on TV. But t stuff turned around like this girl knows this game better than I've ever seen in my entire life. I give her a big prop. She knows exactly what to say and she knows exactly what to do and bro, the craziest thing about all of this, because obviously the house knows that she is one of the biggest threats in the house, is that she literally mentioned just the episode before that you guys are gonna rewatch it. She looked at everyone and said, you guys are gonna rewatch this? And you guys are going to be like, that girl's a witch. How come right after she said that, though? Right after she said that, the house had a reset. Her man had to go home. A next man had to go home. And um, the house basically got reset due to the coronavirus um, issue being announced in the house as well. It's just a lot. And it's like all those things happened while she was about to be evicted bro she was about to be evicted she had one foot out the door like she said and bro things just happened in her favor now it doesn't mean that you know she's not going to be on the line anymore because what's his name did his thing um sheldon sheldon did his thing in winning that hoh again because his his throne got interrupted so good on him and he's also one of my other favorite players as well because he is probably the type of player that I would want to be if I were to be in the Big Brother house. He is so humble and he is silent but violent. He knows how to play this game as well. Like, you know, you can't go into the house with a big personality and, you know, just getting into alliances right away and making big dramatic moves that putting blood on your hands like you know you can't do that and that's exactly what he has done that's exactly why he's HOH back to back you know at the beginning of the game that's exactly why he's got no haters you know what I mean so that is the type of player I believe is worthy of getting very far because he knows like how to maneuver where he is not making himself seem like the biggest threat. I think that that's the smartest way to play. Min Lee, on the other hand, the reason I respect her is because everything that she says makes sense and everything that she says, she can back it up. Everything that she says, she is just, she's like, she's like a very honest person. Like she tells people like what it is. Yeah, she might have told some lies, you know, in between, but it worked for her. And that's another reason why she is so strong. And that's why she was able to, like, I don't even know. Like, she, she was able to do some, like, which, which stuff? Because, like, the house, like, she was about to leave. Like, she knows she was about to leave. But she called that house meeting and things turned around. Like, bro, things just turned around. Now, my other favorite player was Jamar. And it's funny, like, these are my favorite players, even though they were against each other. The thing about Jamar is 
he was low key smart. Like he was low key smart. Like he made himself look stupid. He was always, you know, talking like a Toronto man. Like he was always like, you know, being silly and immature, but that also works. It worked for him in terms of, again, never really being a threat. Like he was never really in any sort of drama. You know, his girl was, you know what I mean? People around him were, but he was so like, you know, just cool with everybody and it, it worked for him. I don't know what happened off camera because something happened and now he's kicked out unfortunately and I'm so so sad because um you know I just wanted I honestly loved him for the entertainment. He was like the reason I even continued watching this show because first of all he's from Ajax and I'm from Brampton. So also um it's just he really like you know the showman that's what people look forward to those things like the funniest guy the showman of the house and the like, most entertaining person and just the person that keeps things lit like lit so yeah i'm sad that he had to go and I, I really hope that it wasn't anything serious um clearly it had to do with maybe a fight verbally physically which is normal you know people in a house like stuff happens but that's really sad and now Min Lee is on her own because that was the only person who had her back because no one else respects her for some reason but what they need to do is start respecting her because she knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. And for her to call herself a witch and the next day for things to be reset the way they did is crazy to me. Crazy. Like she's running the house on the low. She's running the house on the low. Um, what else happened? Like. And again, Sheldon, um, winning HOH back to back, that, like, he's a fighter. He's clearly a fighter. Like, yo. So, Minley and Sheldon, honestly, they need to team up. I mean, okay, I'm posting this even though, like, I'm probably behind, but they, if they don't become a team as I continue watching, like, I will be very surprised because they are the two strongest players. The other, I don't know, who else is in the house? Like, who's a joke to me? Like, um, who's a joke to me? Let me just, like, press play for a second. Who's like underestimated? What I don't like is the people that try, the people that are in this house that haven't really said much. Like, they're not doing anything, they're not making any moves, they're playing it safe. And like, that's good, but you know, that's not who wins Big Brother. Big Brother is the people that win competitions they take risks and they are involved in the decisions that happen in the house so if you want to play safe you can do that it'll get you only so far but after that come on man come on you, you have to be able to handle big brother like you have to be able to compete you have to be able to be smart you have to be able to get people on your side you can't just sit there in the house and that's the stuff that pisses me off because i'm like yo you don't deserve to win you're not putting in any work you know you're not putting in any work so you know you know who you are or, or and people that are watching this know exactly who i'm talking about like you know what i mean but that's all like i think i wanted to really talk about man this episode was oh Okay, hold on. Before I go, I was just like telling my brother about this show because I was like, yo, Min Lee is my favorite. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly why if I didn't already. I have not been a true fan of Big Brother. I never watched every season and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've watched one season previously. I think it was like season five, whichever one has, um, what's it called? The Dimitri and, um, uh, oh my God, why can't I remember? Aika, which are, yeah, that, that season, that season was funny, and I literally watched them because, I don't know, I think I came across them on YouTube, and then I was like, oh, let me go watch the season, and I turned out loving the show, so now I'm watching this one, and, um, what's killing me, what killed me, actually, Min Lee, okay, not only, like I said, not only did she call herself a witch, the next day, she, before Jamar got kicked out and everything like that, from what I understand, Whenever you are put in jeopardy, whenever your life is on the line and you have to campaign for yourself, for the most part, like that girl was telling her, um, the other girl, I don't remember her name, was was telling her, like, you got, when you want to campaign for yourself, you got to be nice. You know what I mean? You got to, you know, sugarcoat things. You got to go and talk to everybody in the house, but in a nice way because you want, you don't want them to turn on you. You don't want them to be like, oh, she's rude. Like, you know what I mean? But Min Lee don't care. I'm telling you, she's so honest. 
Minley just, she just was just like, listen, I'm not going to be fake to you guys, okay? And as a matter of fact, I'm going to call all y'all downstairs. We're going to have a group meeting. You're going to have a group meeting when you're trying to campaign. Interesting. I have not seen that on Big Brother before. You can let me know if I'm wrong because like I said, I have not watched every season. But you got some balls. You know what I'm saying? You got some female balls to be able to put yourself on the hot, in the hot spot like that. Calling out all the people that did you wrong and telling them the game. Telling them what it is. That I respect. I don't care what anybody says. She has my vote. Okay? This girl. Like, who does that? When I want to campaign, when I want to get people on my side, I'm going to do it in private. I'm going to go and sneak and talk to this person, talk to that person. She said, no, 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 no. Every man them come downstairs. We are going to talk about this and talk about why you need to keep me in the game and talk about how me being in the game is going to help your game and talk about how I deserve to be here. That is some shit. That is some shit. She's lit. She is the winner of Big Brother Canada season 8. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Like, yo, she's got balls. And she, honestly, she deserves it. She deserves it. She's, from day one, from day one. She was a little nervous when she first came in the house. She had to chug down that drink. But now, she's like, yo, guys, what's good? You know, I know this game better than you. And then she called it. You know, she was she called it. She knew she wasn't going home. She's a, she's she's a witch in a good way. You know what I mean? She knows the game, and 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 the world was on her side that night. <laughs> the world was on her side that night. I can't believe this girl called the house meeting for her own campaigning. The other girl was like, I'm gonna go tiptoe everywhere and talk to everybody and cry and tell them come to my go. Make sure you don't vote me out. Make sure you don't. This girl said, Y'all, y'all got issues. Y'all need to talk it out. But you know. I deserve to be here and I will not be going home and then everything just went crazy. Jamar is defending her. Um, I don't know what happened with the Kyle guy. He got sent home too and they decided to reset. We got COVID. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. But yeah, I just just was amped watching the show right now and I just wanted to be like yo I'm sure other people are watching this so why not film my reaction to the episode and film what I think of what I'm predicting if the season has continued due to the virus I don't know if they're staying in the house or not like I said I'm only so far I'm on season 8 um episode 9 so I don't know how far off I am but honestly guys like and let's say like they pause it and they go back in the house after and they continue like I'm telling you Min Lee you got my vote, girl. And 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 the only way that you're leaving the house is if you you make a mistake, which happens, you know, you make a mistake, or like someone just as good as you comes out of the blue. Like Sheldon has the potential. You know what I mean? I'm sure someone else in the house has the potential. Um, or you, like I said, or you make a mistake, you lose a competition, whatever, whatever. But so far, girl, everything that you've done, everything that you've said has been on point, clearly. And the universe is on your side. So keep it up. Alright? Um, I'm talking like, you know, she's gonna watch this. Hopefully she does. But anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I just wanted to react to this Big Brother Canada Season 8 drama. It's amazing, and it's so entertaining. And if you are bored at home... Definitely watch it. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. But yeah, I'm going to continue my show. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.